Now then, here is our newly crowned Europa Cup champion, won on this track a week ago. One of seven wins in an eight-run season, but he's disqualified. His brake man is not on board. And the start time, 5.40. He knows from the weight not hitting the back of the sled. But he's got no option now. Francesco Friedrich on his World Cup debut. But to drive the track in what is effectively now a one-man sled. And Yanis Becker, his brake man, after a glorious Europa Cup campaign, their World Cup debut ends in disaster even before it starts. Well, you often see a load problem with a four-man sled, but with a two-man, it's uncommon that it happens. But it just proves that it can. Now, of course, Friedrich is on his own in the sled. He's got to drive it through the final corner, and then he's planning now, how am I going to get back to the brake handles to avoid having a big crash at the end? He is doing 86 miles an hour, and he has got no brakes. Now, is he going to get into the back seat of the sled? No, the brakes are not on. Nobody get in the way of this sled. He can't slow down. There's no one on board. And he's going to try and jump out before it all goes wrong at the end. Wow. The back up there, they've got such a long outrun here because just occasionally brake handles snap and the speeds are so high in San Moritz. Well, what a day for Francesco Friedrichs, the Europa Cup champion. And not just a narrow margin, he won seven of the eight races. There's his brakeman. He'll be inconsolable with Christoph Lang and the head coach offering what consolation is possible. Well, here is the start, and he slips the moment they hit the sled. Happy birthday wishes and messages on his calves there. And he loses his footing as they come off the blocks. Unbelievable misfortune.